is up vapesters, welcome back, I've got a brand new video for you today and in today's video we'll be reviewing the Coilmaster version 2 kit and we'll also review the Coilmaster tab 521 which is an ohm reader which also fires your coils. In this video I'll show you everything you get when you buy these guys from new and I'll take you through each individual piece and what it's used for. If you guys also wanted, I could do a separate video on how I use this kit to do my own builds, but let me know in the comments down below if you want to see that. Okay guys, to start off with, we've got the Coilmaster version 2 DIY kit. It's got this carrying case which feels very, very firm, very, very strong, very high quality. If we open it up though, we've got a whole bunch of goodies. I'm going to start the review with this side and go through each individual thing and tell you what it is and how to use it and then we'll go on to the other side to round off and then move on to the tab 521. Okay guys, starting from this side, the first item is the wire cutters. These are obviously used for cutting wire, very springy, very high quality, really good. Next we've got pliers. These are used for moving the coils or adjusting the coils or bending the wire to wherever you need them to be. I don't actually use these too much, but once again, I think these are very high quality. Next, we have some screwdrivers. This is a Phillips crosshead. We also have a flathead as well. And the reason these are better, other than they're better quality than the crap that comes with your RTAs or RDAs, is that it's got this twisty bit on the bottom. So if you put that in the palm of your hand, you can actually twist this with one hand. And that makes it a lot, lot easier, especially when compared to fixed ones, you have to put it in, twist it, pull it out, put it in, twist it, pull it out. And that can just take a lot longer time. And this just makes everything a lot easier. Next, we have ceramic tweezers. These are a must have when building coils because they are heat resistant. So you actually won't hurt yourself by burning your fingers with the metal heating up. They work really, really well. I do recommend them. These are actually a really good pair as well. So it's really good to have them in the kit. Next we've got some elbow tweezers. I actually haven't heard of these or used these before. However, these are amazing at adjusting your cotton. I use these continuously for adjusting my cotton because they're very easy to go down the hole of the coil and move them and adjust them and pull them. They are quite sharp, so please be careful, but yeah, they work really well. Moving on to this side, we have some organic cotton, which is great to see because we can start making coils straight away. We also have some camphor wire, which is 24 gauge, which is great because that's the actual gauge I use. We have an authenticity code, which I haven't scratched because Coilmaster themselves sent me this kit, so hopefully it's not fake. We have an ohm reader and also a volts reader, which takes AA batteries. Can you guess what these are as well? These are scissors, okay? They're actually really good. They work really well. They obviously compact and I actually use them all the time. This last bits and bobs, I'm going to have to show you, you know, in a separate little clip because they all come together and it's a bit fiddly to have all this crap lying around. So let's quickly go to that now. In your kit will be three tubes with numbers from 40 to 15. These numbers are relative to how wide you want your coils to be. You'll also be getting this silicon sleeve with some poles. The poles have numbers that identify with the tubes I just showed you. I'll show you them in a bit. And you're also given this master tube in which the poles are placed in. So how does this all work? Firstly, you want to identify how wide you want your coil to be. I typically go for 30, so I find the tube with 30 on it. Then I have to find the pole with 30 on it, which is just here. Then what I do with the pole is I have to attach it to the main tube, which is this guy with the two holes. You want to take off the top, and then you want to put the pin down the middle, and then you want to put it back together. Then you want to get some wire and you want to put it through one of the holes. I typically go for the right hand one because I spin it clockwise, but obviously it's up to you. You want to feed it all the way through until you've got a little bit left and you want to put your finger on this and hold it in place. Then what you want to do is get the tube with the number once again that you're using. I'll quickly show you if you put it through 25, it just doesn't work. You have to put it through 30 because that's obviously the um, pole that you're using. And what you want to do is push it right down and you want to spin it around slowly, but not too much pressure. And once again, I spin it clockwise. And as you'll see, it goes round and there's two twists, there's three twists, there's four, there's five. Let's do about, you know, about six. Okay, so once that's done, you can try and just pull it out. But some people might have trouble with this and it could obviously make your wire go all split and weird and ruin your coil. An easier way to do it that I found is you actually take it apart again. 
Because there's no rush. There's no rush in building a really good coil. You take out the pin, and then all that's left is this guy. And then you can twist it, comes out nice and easy, and there you go. Look at that beauty. Moving on guys to the Coolmaster Tab 521. Here is the box. Looks quite nice. It reminds me of the Cool Fire 4 Plus box to be honest. But yeah, very high quality. Let's have a look inside, see what we get. Okay, so straight away we've got a manual. Won't look at that though. We also have a card for a giveaway. We won't look at that. The beast itself. And underneath here we have a voltage checker. So this is for your mech mods or devices that aren't regulated that don't tell you how many volts it is. So that's for checking that. But well, let's have a closer look at this guy. Here's a closer look at the 521 tab. Here's the fire button. Very clicky, very nice. That's obviously where your tank goes. USB. It's got your fire, or if you just want it as an ohm reader, or off. And then the bottom fits 18650 battery with some magnets holding it together. Yeah, let's fire it up. Okay guys, so I put a tank on there that's got a couple of coils that are made in this video, so you would have seen them being made. Let's quickly put it onto the meter mode to see what it's reading at. If you can see that it's reading at 0 0.29 ohms, not too bad at all. If we put it onto fire mode though, we get to actually fire this up. Oh, there we go. It's actually not that bad. It's pretty even. I can obviously fiddle with this with my ceramic tweezers. However, I don't think it needs too much, but I actually might change it a little bit. But yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, guys, cost. So I've seen it online for around about 30 to 40 pounds. 35 being like the average, and that's for each thing. 35 pounds for the tab 521, and 35 pounds for the coil kit, the V2. However, the question is, would I go out and buy them? So my answer is, for the kit, yes. After building with the version 2 kit, it's just super easy. The coils are perfect every single time. It's just without question, now I've used it, I definitely would go out and buy it. Once again, links will be down below. Now with the Tab 521, would I go out and buy that? Because it already has an ohm reader in the kit. It's yes on and no, because I did actually find that ohm reader and with the fire options and things like that actually very useful. It does come in handy a lot of the time. However, would I say you definitely need it? Probably not. Would I go out and buy one if I already had the kit? Probably not. If I actually was really into building though, and I am into building, and I do use both of them all the time, I would probably say yes. If you are someone out there that loves building, you have RTAs and drippers and that's all you've got and all you do is build all day, that would be very helpful for you. Go out and buy it. If you're someone who builds occasionally but you probably prefer you know, pre-built coils, there's no point buying both. I still highly recommend the version 2 kit, the DIY kit, because it's just so helpful. It's just really, really good. Okay, so links will be down below for all of that things. I just want to say a massive thank you to Coilmaster for sending me this kit. Hopefully they'll send me some other stuff if they do have any updates in the future with stuff, because I'd love to review that. It's been an absolute pleasure. Links to their social media and website will be down below. That's me. That's me done. Please leave a comment down below if you'd like to see my own builds, like me building off this of my own builds and teaching you how I build for a new video. Please leave a comment down below for that. Please also like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.